What is up guys, my name is Neven Ranger and we are playing Hearthstone. Last match, bloody hell last match. It, we just have no luck do we? I mean, we spent um, the episode before where we got knocked back, you know, we didn't make any progress. And last episode we actually got knocked back to Shield Bearer rank 20 with two incredibly, you know, brutal games. You know, the the comebacks at the end were just unforgivable, you know. But anyway, we're going to move on, you know, try and regain what we lost. Uh, I'm going to go for the Warlock deck this time, just because I'd like to get a bit more of experience playing with it. I'm going to jump straight into it. Trying to get as many of these recorded as I can, because the servers are going offline for maintenance soon, so... Gul'dan versus Rexar. Okay, I, I don't mind this so much. Uh, Dread Infernal, we definitely do not need you yet. Um, same with Sengen Shieldmaster, to be honest, and Shield Bolt, Shadow Bolt. But I want to keep Shadow Bolt just in case we need it. Hard to say if we've got better cards there. Because Hellfire is just not a good card. Useful, it can be very useful, but it's. Oh, you are kidding me. Just when I. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, today we are facing. Let's just say hi to them. I greet you. Hope, the hunter. Greetings, traveller. I don't face many hunters. A lot of people seem to think they're underpowered. <laughs> So, we're going to find out here if that's true. Scavenging Hyena. I, whenever a friendly beast dies, gain plus two, plus one. Damn. We want to take that out. <laughs> uh, okay. So, if I play the Elven Archer. One shot, one kill. And then Mortal Coil. That takes out the Scavenging Hyena. As well as gives me another Shadow Bolt. Which is quite nice. For those of you who don't know, the Hunter's special ability allows it to do two damage directly to my hero. Not that useful, if I'm honest. Leoak. Other friendly minions have plus one attack. That's quite powerful, actually. Uh, almost Shadow Bolt worthy. Is it Shadow Bolt worthy, though? I believe so. Just to get it off the field, you know? I'm trying to think what else I could have done there. I could have summoned something like the Chillwind Yeti or summon the Shenzhen, Sh Senjin Shieldmaster, but hmm, Emperor Cobra. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, oh, we don't have the the thing to do it though. It deals two damage though, so it does take out that Emperor Cobra. Hmm. hmm. That's what I just said. Um. Hmm. Could take out with a Shadow Bolt. But I'd rather do this. Save the Shadow Bolt for later. Can't really do anything with um, the one mana or two mana if I use the coins. So just gonna end the turn here. Emperor Cobra, that is quite a powerful card. Destroys any enemy creature that attacks it. So okay, uh, Chill and Jesse. Hmm. It's a bit of a shame that it'll probably be able to just straight out destroy it, but I needed to put a powerful creature out there to semi counter his. 
At the very least, that's brought it down to only one health, so I don't need to worry too much about it. Can play that. That brings them all down to... That destroys the uh, tiger and brings... Destroys that taunt, brings that taunt down to one health. Um, which I think is worth it. One of the few times that is actually worth using. <laughs> and... Then I will use the succubus. Please don't discard a good card. The coin, okay. That's not too worth it. As in, it's it's a weird mix. The coin's not really that worthwhile late game. I think we'd pass the time where it would have been really useful, so. I think getting the 4 3 was worth it. That card is a good card if it had taunt. <laughs> Unless you can give it taunt, it's not really that worth using. Okay, uh, use Drain Life and Taunt. Or Shadow Bolt and. That leaves it with free health. And he Hellfire? No, but I want to keep Succubus alive. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, I'll drain life on the Silverback Patriarch, just because it heals me for two. Then. Shattered Sun Cleric. Cleanse the sun well. Boost the Succubus. As the master wishes. Attack him directly. Because that way I can use Shadow Bolt and the Shadow Shattered Sun Cleric. Oh, bollocks. A 4-9 with Taunt. Like I said, you want to give that creature Taunt. A 5-9 with Taunt. I see. This is almost worth using Hellfire on, <laughs> to be honest. Bollocks. Okay. Um As the master wishes. Uh let's see. Tazdingo. Yeah. What's he going to play here? The reason I didn't use one of these two is because I think they're... The better were off serving. Like for now. Ooh. That is nice. Probably worth saving though. How do I want to play this? Uh, I think I'll attack him directly. And do that. Yes, you can. I will place the Acidic Swamp Ooze. Place the Void Walker. And Soul Fire that. That saves me from having to discard a random card. And it gives me quite a good board advantage. No matter what he attacks, he's going to lose that. Fair enough. Bollocks. That's how he wanted it to play, I believe. Okay. Novice Engineer, give me a good card. Hope you like my invention. That's 
not really what I asked for, but okay. I'm literally just gonna leave it in my hand to um Someone call for the doctor. What is it? To mess with him, to make him think that I've got better cards than I have. If I've got a card in my hand that I haven't used this turn, it's something worth keeping. That's the, the theory at least. <laughs> No, yeah, that's one right. Shot, I thought I'd done it in the wrong order then for some reason. <laughs> we must cleanse the sun well. And I can't risk life tapping just because he's already got such a health advantage that I don't want to give him any more. And he can keep increasing that health advantage Behold, thanks to his steady shot. That's irritating. Use both Forward. of these to destroy that. And now I've got a 6-6 six, six that might win me the game if he doesn't get lucky cards here. If he gets, you know, a card to destroy my Dread Inferno, it's over, basically. Oh, it might still be over, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's still over. Think so, yeah. Why do you call Bollocks. Another loss in a row. Bloody hell. This is not going well, guys. <laughs> oh, thanks. You don't even give me well played back. That's douche move, man. Douche move. <laughs> Ironically, the very ability I was, you know, taking a mick out of at the beginning cost me the game. <sighs> well, we're back to rank 20. And I believe we've got time for another episode. The Paladin. See, I'm trying to spice it up a bit, use different decks. Um, gonna have to go through these decks anyway, sometime off camera, and... Go through them, you know, just see if there's anything I can do to improve them, because I haven't looked at them in a couple of weeks. Well, maybe a week. Ah, <sighs> we need to break this win this uh, losing streak. I was, I was about to say we need to break this winning streak, I was going to say. We need to get a winning streak. <laughs> versus Gul'dan. Okay, we're facing... Twin1971, the Warlock, and all of this can go except for the Blessing of Kings. I want that in my hand. Much better. I smell blood. Hmm. If I were you, I'd be worried about that. Force him to either destroy that or. Job done. Ow. Yeah, I think that'd be worth it for him to destroy that. Oh, really? That's interesting, actually. Reporting for duty. I wonder why he didn't de-stealth that and destroy my acidic swampoos. Hmm. That's what I would have done. Okay. 
That allows me to take it out with my uh, silver hand recruit. And I can do it without losing the recruit through the Shattered Sun Seal. Well. I believe. No, it's still going to lose it. But... Oh well. Oh, Had to go. buff something, so might as well have buffed him. Still gives me board superiority, I believe the word is. When you have complete control of the board. 3-2, not a very powerful card. Could be killed quite easily, but... For example, by that. <laughs> he likes his stealth cards, this guy. Don't know why. Hmm. I kind of want to hold on to this... To these Blessing of Kings mm. and all that. But I'm going to use the Blessing of Might to make this a bigger threat. Force him to attack it. Push forward. Oh, I've got to summon a minion. Damn it. Should have reinforced. That was my own. Wasn't concentrating. Sorry, guys. No, don't. Yeah, attack me directly. It's not a very smart man, but okay. Uh, Stompite Commando does two damage. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, damn, I can't use both. Um, Hammer of Wrath would allow me to kill either of them, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy the Torn. Clear Repentance. Push and attack him directly. See, I don't mind him attacking me with the four creature because I've got, I'm getting a good, you know, health advantage. If he plays anything powerful, it's just gonna get screwed, basically. <laughs> For example, a dread inferno would get screwed. Truth is my shield. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest, because he's still gonna get one. Uh, divine shield out of it, but hmm. I've got a huge guy. Oh. I'm trying to think how to play this. Uh, Push forward. That would result in the death of him, but. I think it's worth it to get rid of the Divine Shield. If he attacks anything other than the hero, he's dead. So he'll probably attack the hero this turn, get some pretty considerable damage done, but not much I can do about it, you know? Uh, I'm trying to think what I can do next turn. Could taunt. Um, I'd rather do Blessing the Kings on this Stompite Commander, but I doubt he's going to survive. Is too low on HP. <sighs> Bloody hell. Sorry, guys. That tea is starting to put me to sleep. <laughs> uh, for those of you so that missed last episode, I've just drunk a cup of tea. Goodbye, kite. We will always miss you. Splat, splat, splat. Slight delayed reaction by me there. <laughs> I wonder. Almost out of time. What are you thinking, dude? You you have to have something up your sleeve, or else you won't be considering it this hard. I am the blade of the goddess. Okay. Not going to say finally, but I am going to say about bloody time. <laughs> okay. Hammer of Wrath. Oh, should I actually? Um... I don't have the 
mana to do both. So instead I will reinforce and blessing of kings. If he attacks me directly, he gets a lot of damage off. But if he doesn't, I'm going to get even more damage. Well, I'm going to get the same amount of damage as him, but I should I should be able to destroy him next turn. Well, destroy the creature. Oh, you... Well played. That was well, well played, played, actually. Thank you. You still got half your mana, man. What are you gonna do with it? Mm, you're in trouble now. Okay, that's Hammer of Raffable. Storming Champion. Okay, yeah. Use Hammer of Raff on that. Stormpike Commander. Uh. And place the Tom creature to protect my hero. Hmm. This is a very close game, guys. Got to admit. That's irritating, but dealable. Again, irritating, but dealable. Okay, so let's see. He'll probably use both of these to take out the Stormpike Commander. Unless he has other Murloc boosting Murlocs in his hand, which can get very powerful very quickly. In which case, he'll just play them and start attacking me directly. Ah. In that case, he'll probably take out... Hmm... How's he, how would he do this? That's fair enough. How, what's he going to do with the Tide Hunter though? Attack me directly. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Now I can use, hmm, Storming Champ, yeah, Storming Champion, the might of Storm Wind. and almost kill him. Reporting for duty. Okay, so what can I do with this? I can use this Silver Hand Recruit to take out his Storming Champion. And the Storm the Silver Hand Recruit will survive, which is quite different <laughs> to usual. Um Oh Really? Fair enough, fair enough. It's one way to do it I guess. Um Yeah, I'll play the Stormwind Champion. Basically, he hasn't done that much to change it. <laughs> uh, next turn, if he pulls anything powerful enough to threaten these two, I can True Silver Champion and just bum rush his health points. Or I can Frost Wolf Warlord if he doesn't have anything to threaten these guys. Well, summon another reinforcement, then... Frost so Wolf Wall. Frost Wolf Warlord. Um, oh, I could use both the Frost Lord. What? Frost Wolf Warlord. God, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, then I'd have a. What? 6 6 and a 7 7. I'd be pretty happy with that. I don't like so that he has such a high card advantage, though. In fact, I can beat him next turn if he doesn't destroy. If he doesn't destroy the 
Stormwind Champion or play a Torn, I've won. That's quite a relief, actually. <laughs> We're starting to think this was another game I was going to lose. Damn. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, you want to play that game? I will... Let's see. The frost wolves stand ready. The frost wolves stand ready. The battle for the alliance. Unfortunately, that's probably cost me my Stormwind Champion. But thanks to these two, I'll still have two quite powerful units on the field. Uh, can summon my true silver champion weapon now that he's played his uh, acidic swamp ooze. And he's just lowering his health even lower. That tells me he's getting quite desperate. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really see a way that this could go wrong, guys. What's he thinking? So many possible. See, he has six cards in his hand. There's a lot he could do this turn. <sighs> Bloody hell. Sorry, guys. Alright. Me yawning. Dun, dun, dun. What's this guy thinking? Damn, that is quite a powerful card, actually. A 10 11. Well Thank you. That was well played. I just wanted to destroy that creature just because it's, it's a 10-11. You know, I wanted to kill it. <laughs> that was a good game. Uh, if I'm honest, we needed that. <laughs> anyway, this episode's gone on for... What? What? What?